Warning, I swear a lot. Hi guys, and welcome back to Civ 6. I'm going to start this off immediately by offering an apology because it's incredibly windy here in Britain today, which means there may be some more background sounds than usual. I know this chair is squeaky as hell, but there might also be rattling sounds because I'm technically in the attic. But more relatively, I wanted to talk a little bit about my, my plans for the civilization because I've been thinking about it because we're trying to go for a so science victory. That's kind of what we're trying to pull things back towards. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, if you happen to stumble on this one, I started this series when I had never played Civ 6, and then as the game prog as the series progressed, I played the game more in my own time and understood more about what was going on. I'm now trying to recover this game in the hopes of winning, playing on King difficulty, so it's quite tough. So Australia is miles ahead of us, like miles and miles and miles ahead of us. My plan, right, obviously I need to boost my science, so in order to catch up with Australia, there are two things, basic things we need to do. We need to improve our science per turn, obviously. And second of all, we need to start trying to aim for inspirations and Eureka. I think it's Eureka's here in um, research. I need to start trying to get these. And for now, we're mostly going to be focusing on science per turn. That means science buildings, and it also means settling new cities. I planned to nab one just up here. Uh, I planned to go just down here, and I might make one down here in Snowlands, although that still doesn't feel like a very good That could be a possibility. That would off Britain, though. And if they declare war on us, that's right there. They want some sugar, they'll give me some money, yeah? Once again, accepting deals like that puts you in good stead with the other civilizations. Not a lot of good stead, but enough that they will... Like, they'll be less inclined to act towards you more negatively. Sure, Australia despises us. Like, that's just how they are. But that can pacify them for a little while. We are more than halfway through the game, I've noticed. We're on turn 183. My chair just squeaked, I'm sorry. Out of 330. So score might actually be a thing. Can we check score? He's winning. I am second to last. But settling some new towns could really change that. And also if we stole some technologies from him and stuff like that. We either want to go for science or score. Because I accidentally made this a score game. Like, I didn't realize I was doing that. So we can buy that new settler. Let's do that now, because we need them. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. There we go. Sell two new towns. That's got to do some things for our civilization. We'll plop it right down there as well, so it's covering a broad... Actually, it might be best not to put that on the coast, because we want to take as much actual land as possible. Oh, good. I know my military is small, you dickweed. I'm working on it. Fucking rude. Has the Terracotta army been... Well, my army just got smaller. I'm really going to be... Might be relying on that spy to try and, um turn things around for me, especially when it comes specifically to Australia. Because Australia, their research is nuts. I'm gonna have some Skittles. I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. I do this a lot. This is not a breakfast. If you haven't had breakfast yet, go eat breakfast. Or whatever the closest meal happens to be to the time of day in which you're watching this. Yeah, we'll go for that island. <coughs> Because that also won't piss off Tamiris. So everybody wins in that respect. Oh my god, Tamiris has aeroplanes. What the hell? Let's make a deal. We can't do research agreements yet, then why did you give me the option? Stupid game. You're fired. You guys should come on home. Done great. You killed those barbarians real good. Got a promotion. Everyone's happy. There we go. He's awaiting assignment. You, my friend, we're gonna really want you to go to Australia. Oh my god, he's got a spaceport? What? He's got laser- oh my god, he's gonna win. There's no fucking way. See what you can do. See what you can do. It's 1810. And he's got a spaceport. To be fair, I'm running another game where I've got that at that time, but still. Oh, that's a problem. Those settlers have arrived. Goody good. Very good. Very good. I don't like this. Australia is so much further ahead than I thought they were. If anything, we're going to want that spy to focus on disrupting their spaceport. 
But considering he's a rookie spy, you might want him to do some work first to get better so that he can more reliably disrupt the spaceport. God, I wish I had just fucking played the game sooner and then come back to this. Because I could have made something of this, but as it stands, I don't see us winning at all. And that's frustrating. Yes, November, we are friends. You're a very friendly man. No, I like that. I can't... I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around how far behind Australia we are. Like, it's actually insane. There might be dog barking in the background as well. The puppies are a little restless. You might be able to hear that borfing. I can hear him borfing. So how am I doing in terms of score? I can't imagine I'm much better off than I was. No, not really. But we're climbing. We are climbing. What I might need to do is just do everything I can to delay Australia. Yeah, sure. I know I am. Um, we might just need to do everything we can to delay Australia. Might even be worth declaring war on them, actually. Or if someone asks us to help them, might be worth doing that to attack him. Just to stop him. He needs to be stopped. In some way, shape, or form, he needs to slow down. Because that spaceport is a problem. Granted, it's going to take him forever to do all that production, but still, not all good. best romances bloom in the midst of a good siege. Probably. I wouldn't know. Haven't been in one. I consider myself blessed for this fact. Go get those craft. Ah, the spy is in position. I don't know how much you can actually do, though, bruv. He's definitely going to need to gain sources, or, um... This will end in disaster. There we go. There we go. Our science per turn is improving. The problem is, catching up with Australia doesn't really mean getting more science per turn anymore. It means actually researching the necessary technologies, which we don't have... Have I mentioned that we don't have them? Because we don't. Just gotta keep trying. I ain't no quitter. I'd never quit. Not until it's over. It ain't over till it's over. And it ain't over yet. Gonna keep going. I'm gonna eat some skittles. I'm so hungry. As risky a move as it is, I think denouncing Australia would be quite... Great. Was that my caravel? Yeah, it was. That was one of my only decent ships. I don't like to commit myself about heaven and hell. Oh, I see, I see. Well, I like Merchant Republic. I think we might need to denounce John Curtin. We need to convince everyone we're allies with. These five nations I'm allies with. We need to convince them he's bad news. Yes. Because by declaring that we don't like him, that will, hopefully spur everyone else into action as well. Craft. That will help Monster considerably. We're not winning this. There's no chance. There's no way. No way in hell. I've, ch I've started trying to turn this around far too late. It was a valiant effort, lads, but um, we've got no horse in this race. <laughs> well, we've got a horse. He's got a Mustang. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about the horse, I'm talking about the car. I can try. Like, once again, I, I just can't stop reiterating the fact that I will try. But... Right, we ain't got this for shit. It might come down to that spy. It might come down to that spy and the actions of my allied nations in, um... Standing up to Curtin's bullshit. France has also denounced Australia. Denouncements are all well and good. But alone, you know, we're not stopping him, you know, just because he's been insulted doesn't mean he's gonna... England has attracted enough tourists to make their culture dominant over yours. Great. Great, we do have only five tourism, so this doesn't surprise me. I, this, what, this entire thing was a disaster. Culture victory. Australia is also leading the culture victory. And then Japan is leading the other two victories. If we can convince Japan to go to war with Australia, that's a thought. 
Because Japan has the largest military. Make deal. And he's just happy to accept that deal. Good man. Yes, let's make this happen. It will be a serious warmonger penalty, but as it stands, Australia is just going to win if we don't do something. Tokamune, my one true friend, you've always been there for me. To be honest, I'm not going to be very involved in this war because I have a tiny military force, but um, if Tokamune, who I believe is, yeah, pretty close to Australia, if he can get stuck in and absolutely mess them up. Tokyo is right there. They're probably going to lose Tokyo. If he can get in there and absolutely trash them, that would give us time. Of course, then to Japan would be a threat, but one thing at a time, you know? Explosions is scary. I'm going to eat my skittles to comfort myself. The problem is, though, Australia has planes. I don't have planes. My people have never even seen a plane before. We've spotted them beyond Tamiris' borders, but we don't have them. Of course, Takamune. Welcome to welcome to the capital. She has a 50-50 shot to disrupt rocketry. I'm not being funny, but I like those odds. Go on. Make that and you'll be golden to me. Why does every game I play it always comes down to a fucking dice roll? Hmm. I probably should have had them build builders first, but it's fine. Hit them. Oh god, the barbarians have so many frigates. That was a horrible decision. Okay, well, that caravel's dead. Our military gets even smaller, I guess. It's just our life, really, isn't it? German military is apparently pathetic. Not even remotely similar to real world Germany. Great. One of our trade routes is plundered as well. That's just what I need. Oh, wait. No, it isn't. These places have um, factories by any chance. I imagine Aachen probably does, because I did focus on this place. Oh, it doesn't even have a Hansa. We should get the factory in Frankfurt, and that would boost production all around. That'd be very helpful. And now we have rice. This will surely save our civilization. Why is my science per turn going down? Probably because that trade route was plundered, and now it's providing us with science. We're getting more science buildings for what it's worth, but, you know. Japan is also dominant over us. We should really try and build a wonder sometime. Because you can pull that back by improving your tourism. You can pull the domestic tourists back, which makes them no longer makes them dominant over you. I doubt one more wonder would actually do that, but, you know, what the fuck's going on over there? Those aren't barbarians. Yes, swordsman. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, fucking... I wish this game would just not rip control away from me every time I want to do something. You go up there. That dog is still walking. Yeah, Kabul we're at war with. Shoot them! That was good. Can clone itself shoot them? No, it can't because it's not fucking... Advanced enough. And we've run out of boats. Because the barbarians destroyed all my boats. We have a melee units. Oh, this is a faff, isn't it? This is a fucking bother. I made a desperate move in an attempt to stop Australia from winning this, and I don't know how much it's going to actually do. I've tried two desperate moves, actually. Good news is, now if my spy is killed... Oh boy, they're attacking Cologne. That's an issue. That is definitely an issue. I think they're going to take Cologne, because we don't have enough firepower to get them to back off. All right, Cologne, um, start building those walls, and um, if you could also make a ship, 
I'd appreciate that. If they focus fire on the ship instead, that will, like, you know, buy us a turn. They're still building that frigate. Oh, God. What if? Where is Cabal? Why have they gunned for me, more to the point? I wonder if I can make peace with them. I don't think they want to make peace. Ah. Uh. There's not a lot I can do, really, is there? We might lose Cologne for the time being. Fuck off, Britain. You're too much of a fucking coward to get involved in the war anyway. You know Australia was about to destroy the world, but you did nothing about it. Takamune, mate, you already had an embassy. Let's be fair, if those- are those frigates? If those are frigates, he can't actually capture Cologne with frigates because they're ranged units. Oh, they're caravels. Oh, he could have totally taken Cologne, but for some reason he changed his mind. Well... We're still going to shoot his shit. We can minimize their military in any way. That would help us. It's also free training. There we go. I don't know why they backed off, but that just saved me. So Frankfurt has that now. How long would it take for you to make a factory? 16 turns. So now that the danger is past, quote-unquote... We can just focus on, uh, stuff. I don't know, man. I'm, fuck, I'm all over the place. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to do it. I don't know how to do it. All I know is I'm fucked. Like, really fucked. Commercial hub, I suppose. We could do with more money. The only place you could build a commercial hub is right on that rice farm that I just built. Frankfurt, you're fired. It's going to be the same for everything, isn't it? I guess we could build a harbour. Yeah. And that way we don't have to get rid of an incredibly useful thing. Ulm needs housing. Ulm, we have plenty of problems without trying to cater to your need for more houses. Thank you. Ulm, Aken could hurry up and get that fucking frigate built. Still wouldn't put us on par with anyone else's military, but more naval units will keep us alive right now. Really, I should have been focusing on this before, but I just wasn't thinking about war before. I literally decided to declare war on Australia on that turn. I had no plans to do it prior. No one starts a war, or rather, no mm. one in his senses ought to do so, without first being clear in his mind what he intends to achieve by that war, and how he intends to conduct it. I mean, I guess I'm not in my right mind then, am I? Because I know why I wanted to- He- She did it! She pillaged the spaceport! You're the best! Fucking love you! Disrupt rocketry as if to- yes, please. She actually did it. Incredible. That will slow them down, hopefully. Promotions all around, and we just got a great scientist. Plus 100% production towards space race projects. Well, if we can get there, that would be incredibly useful. The only problem is we're not there yet. That market, I'd like to get that great Zimbabwe building done if possible. That could just generally improve things. Mains completed their mark. Oh, I could get them to make the great. No, they don't have any location to build it. Never mind. Never mind. Can you build a frigate? It would take you 17 turns. Good lord, the production around here is so bad. Why did I get them to build a commercial hub when I could have got them to build a harbor? What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I still bad at this game? Build some crossbowmen, you need defences for god's sake. She managed to fuck up their uh, rocket place, which may well keep us in the game. Don't get me wrong, he's gonna fix that before she's ready to try and pillage it again, but... It slows him down. It slows him down. Which is really the best we can manage right now, it's why I declared war, it's why I sent the spy over there. It's a good thing I did send the spy over there as well, because I didn't even know he had a spaceport. The game could have ended at any point, and I wouldn't have been like aware of it until it happened. 
Oh good, I'm climbing the ranks on scores. That's nice. We should look for more land to settle as well, just to improve that. Because I really think we're going to want to try and draw this out to a points conclusion. And just try and build as many points as we can. Shoot them. Shoot them. There we go. You're safe. John Curtin just built Big Ben. I'm sure Victoria is pleased. Who'd have thought crossbows would still be, be being used in warfare now when we have jet fighters? Well, not jet fighters, they're like Spitfires, but still. Actually, there may well be jet fighters because Curtin's fucking sending rockets into space. It could literally be anything. No, Takamune, no! Humans are always suspected and usually opposed. Crap. I'm gonna have to try and make peace with Curtin or I'm gonna die. I'm in third place for a science victory. His science return has dropped considerably. We're actually catching up. I'm happy to accept this deal. Good. All right. Well, that was actually that whole operation was genuinely a success, right? We disrupted him. We we disrupted his space station, and guess what? I'm gonna go do that again. I'm not surprised that you're not interested. Good thing that didn't cost me anything. But yeah, the declaration of war, I think it shifted his priorities, so his science per turn went down for a little bit. In fact, I think I might be earning more per turn now than he is. Yeah, I am actually. Wow. We managed to do that. We also managed to sabotage his space station. His spaceport, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And guess what? I'm going to be sending that agent back there to do that again. Especially since she now receives a boost in it. She's probably still going to have to spend time gaining contacts in order to operate without failing. But the extra time investment will be worth it. Do this last little uh, fucking see what this next turn brings and then we'll end the video there. But we're still not going to win, I don't think. However, there's a chance. We could win. The only issue is that declaring that war was very um, costly to our global reputation end of the day, might have also been entirely unnecessary. So diplo diplomatic relations with all the other countries are going to suffer for a long time now, because I declared a surprise war. I didn't even use a casus belly. Just went for him. Which is frowned upon, frankly. Apparently his spaceport has not been repaired. Does he have any more spaceports? He does not. That's the only one he's got. Okay, Canberra. Oh, no, wait, that's Sydney. Canberra. I'd have a 74% chance to steal, steal a tech boost, which is going to be necessary. Nice of you to show up, Frigate. You're a little bit late, but, you know. Hello? That's a nice little plot of land. It's also far away, but, you know. I think I'm going to do that. Next time, I'm going to settle that little island. How are we doing overall? Third place in the thing. His science has gone back up. I'm still ahead of him, though. Score? How am I doing score-wise? Uh, I'm climbing. I'm climbing. John Curtin has completed the first step. He's launched an Earth satellite, but we managed to, I think, disrupt him from doing the second step. we can boost our own tourism a little bit as well, we could stave off culture victories for a little while. Once we get conservation, or yeah, conservation, we can boost our tourism through walls and such. I'm also planning on making the Great Zimbabwe. Wait, I was, I think I was planning to do that here in fucking Ulm, but uh, there's no suitable location to construct it. Must be adjacent to cattle and a commercial hub. Well, I wish I fucking knew that. Alright, well, never mind, never mind. They need housing anyway, let's get them a sewer so they'll shut up about that. The city can keep growing and that will benefit us in the long run. Cologne really needs... that. Lighthouse provides housing, that'll do. You can harvest those rocks. <laughs> There we go, and now I really do have to end here, because Jesus Christ, that fucking one more turn mentality of Civ is actually 
affecting me right now. I want to keep going, but I need to, you know, pace myself. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know. I don't know. This could go anywhere. This could go in any direction. Since we've disrupted Australia's spaceport, this could now go in any direction. If we can continue to lay down that pressure, because our spy will presumably keep getting better and better at her job. I think Marina or whatever the name was is a she. I don't know. Shouldn't assume. But if they can keep doing that, we could potentially stop Australia from getting a science victory indefinitely. However, there's a lot of culture being thrown around as well, and I'm not sure how to respond to that. There's also the substantial risk of military invasion, especially since I declared war on Australia and have now tarred myself with the brush of a warmonger, because the moment any one of these nations decides they've had enough of me, and that will happen if I start edging towards a military vi or science victory, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Just doomed. That's the long and short of it. I'm starting to think that the best option might actually be, genuinely, to attempt to hold out for a score victory, but the fact of the matter is, I have 272, and Curtin has 466. I don't know how I would... Civilization with the highest score will win. Yeah, and you achieve these victories through... Civics, Empire, Great People, Religion, Technology, and Wonders. Oh right, that's score from Wonders. I thought that was saying that Takamune had 50 Wonders, and I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, that's just score from his overall Wonders. Considering it appears to be about 5 each, give or take, he has 10 Wonders. And Curtin has 5. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter, we're ending the episode here now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see this through to its bitter end, but to be honest, whether I win or lose this, this will not be the last Civ series, because I'm having too much fun. And I love Civ 6. And I want to do a series where I actually know what I'm doing and see if I can win on King Difficulty. But you don't have to worry about that now. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And whatever happens next time, and I'm going to need to think up some craftier schemes to stop Australia from winning this and to also attempt to put myself into a winning position. Have a see you then. Toodles. Goodbye.